Picture living on an island where tomorrow could bring a whole new way of life. Islands like Nauru and Kiribati aren't just tiny dots on the map. They're at the heart of big changes. Nauru has made bold choices like being friends with Taiwan instead of China. These choices have big effects on its place in the world. Kiribati faces its own fight, not with countries, but with the rising sea that could one day take away its land. This is a real test of how tough these islands are. What makes an island think about changing who it's friends with? Is it about staying safe, keeping its identity, or standing up to bigger countries? And what does this mean for the people living there? This story takes us to these islands where big decisions are on the horizon and the challenges are as big as the ocean itself. The big question is, what does it mean for a country when staying the same might not be an option anymore? As we explore this, think about what it takes for a place to keep its spirit when the world around it is changing. In a vast ocean, there's a small island called Nauru, a place where the courage of its people shines as brightly as the sun above it. Despite its size, Nauru stands tall on the world stage, making bold choices and friendships and alliances. It's a story of David and Goliath, where Nauru, our David, doesn't shy away from challenging the giants. Nauru's story begins with a simple yet powerful decision to recognize Taiwan, an act of defiance against the expectations set by larger, more powerful nations like China. This choice is about more than just political alliances. It's a declaration of Nauru's independence and its right to choose its own friends. By siding with Taiwan, Nauru sends a clear message. It values its sovereignty above the pressures and influences of global giants. But Nauru's boldness doesn't stop there. It also recognizes Jerusalem as Israel's capital, another move that places it in the spotlight of international politics. These decisions have consequences, both positive and negative affecting Nauru's relationship with other countries and its position in global discussions. Yet, the island nation remains steadfast, willing to navigate the tricky waters of diplomacy for what it believes is right. Nauru's choices are not made lightly. Each one is a calculated risk, balancing the island's values with its economic and social needs. These stands have led to increased visibility on the global stage, drawing attention to Nauru's existence and its steadfast principles. However, they also come with challenges, as Nauru must navigate the complex web of international relations, facing both criticism and admiration. Through its actions, Nauru teaches us a valuable lesson about the power of small nations in the face of global pressures. It shows that size does not limit a country's ability to influence the world. Nauru's story is a testament to the strength of conviction, the importance of standing up for one's beliefs and the intricate dance of diplomacy where every step is both a risk and an opportunity. As this tiny island carves its path through the complexities of international politics, it leaves behind a trail of lessons on sovereignty, courage, and the importance of making one's voice heard no matter the size. Nauru's bold stand is not just a series of political decisions, it's a beacon of inspiration for all nations proving that true strength comes from the courage to stand for what one believes in against all odds. Imagine a beautiful island nation, Kiribati, where the ocean is both a friend and a formidable foe. This place is facing a challenge like no other, one that threatens its very existence, climate change. Rising sea levels, driven by melting ice caps and warming oceans, are inching closer to homes and communities, promising a future where Kiribati might one day vanish beneath the waves. Kiribati's struggle is not just about losing land. It's about losing history, culture, and the bonds that tie its people to the earth their ancestors walked. The islanders live each day with the reality that their children might grow up in a world where Kiribati is only a memory. Spoken of in stories and seen in pictures, but no longer a place on the map. The government and the people of Kiribati are not standing by, waiting for the sea to claim their home. They're fighting back with everything they have. One strategy is to build up the islands, raising them above the threatening waves. It's a daunting task, requiring massive amounts of resources and support from around the globe. Another part of their plan is to ensure that every person in Kiribati has the skills and education to thrive anywhere in the world. This way, if the day comes when Kiribati is no longer habitable, its people will carry the spirit of their nation wherever they go, keeping the identity of Kiribati alive. Kiribati's leaders are also on the front line of international forums demanding action on climate change. They know that their fight is not theirs alone. It's a wake-up call to the world about the reality of climate change and the urgent need for global cooperation. But there's a flicker of hope too. 
The island is exploring innovative ways to combat climate change, like harnessing renewable energy and practicing sustainable fishing. These efforts not only help Kiribati, but also contribute to global environmental health. In the story of Kiribati's climate challenge, we see the resilience of the human spirit. Faced with an existential threat, the people of Kiribati are writing a narrative of determination, innovation and hope. Their fight is a lesson to us all, that in the face of great challenges, action can forge a path to survival. Picture a world where countries are like players in a big game, each trying to make friends and influence others. Now imagine small island nations like Nauru and Kiribati in this game. They might seem small, but they're making big waves with their choices. These islands are in a tug of war, pulled between powerful countries on one side and their own needs and beliefs on the other. For Nauru, choosing to be friends with Taiwan over China is a bold move. It's like picking the underdog team, hoping it will win. This choice shakes up the game and shows Nauru wants to play by its own rules, even if it means making some big players unhappy. But this isn't just about making friends, it's about standing strong for what they believe in, even when it's tough. Kiribati's battle is with the rising sea, not with other countries, but it still faces a tug of war. As the sea level climbs, threatening to cover their homes, they must decide how to save their land and their way of life. Do they build higher, move away, or find new ways to hold back the water? Each choice could change how they live and how the world sees them. This tug of war isn't easy. It's about making hard choices in a world where big countries have a lot of power. But it's also about showing that even the smallest islands can stand tall, make their own choices, and influence the big game of global politics. These islands teach us that no matter how small you are, you can make a big difference by staying true to what you believe and fighting for your future. So, what happens when the world pulls you in different directions? You stand firm, make bold choices, and show that even the smallest voices can echo loudly in the halls of power. Now let's hear stories of the people living on the edge, those from Nauru and Kiribati. Their stories aren't just tales, they're real-life experiences of standing firm against the tides of change, both political and environmental. From Nauru, we meet a teacher who shares how the island's decisions, like being one of the few nations recognizing Taiwan, have sparked discussions in classrooms about independence and the power of small nations in the big world. It's about teaching our children that our voice matters, that we can make friends based on our values, not just on what others expect from us she says, her words echoing the pride of a nation that dares to chart its own course. Then, there's a fisherman from Kiribati, witnessing the sea's encroachment on his homeland. Each day, the shore where I played as a child gets smaller, he reflects, his voice a mix of determination and sorrow. Yet, he speaks of hope and the efforts to build sea walls and plant mangroves. We're fighting back, not just for us, but for our children, so they'll have land to call home. A young activist from Kiribati talks about the urgency of their plight to international audiences seeking support and solutions. Our islands are more than just spots on a map. They're our ancestors' legacy, our home. We need the world to listen, to understand that saving Kiribati is saving a part of human heritage. Back in Nauru, a local government official discusses the island's economic strategies, navigating the complex waters of international investments while maintaining sovereignty. We're small, but we're strategic, finding ways to ensure our people's prosperity without compromising our values. Through these voices, the essence of Nauru and Kiribati's struggle comes alive. It's a narrative of resilience, hope, and the relentless pursuit of a sustainable and sovereign future told by those who live it every day. Their stories are a powerful reminder of the human side of geopolitical and environmental issues, a call to action for all who hear them. Our journey through Nauru and Kiribati's stories is more than just a tale of island life. It's a call to us all. These nations, with their bravery and struggles, remind us that everyone has a role in shaping our world. Even the smallest islands are standing up, facing big countries and climate changes head on. They're not just waiting for help, they're acting, making bold choices for their future. But their fight is also our fight. We can all learn from them and help. How? By staying curious, by learning more about the challenges these islands face, and by sharing their stories with others. Every bit of support counts, and together, we can make a big difference. And there's more to discover. Next up, we're heading to Tuvalu in our next video. Life in Tuvalu, the least populous country in the world? It's a chance to see another unique island nation, to hear its story, and to find out how its people are making their mark on the world too. 
So let's keep exploring, learning, and standing together with these incredible island nations. Click on the next video to continue the journey with us. Together, we can help make sure every voice is heard and every story shared.